Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few quick ways that you can use your tarot cards to answer simple yes or no questions. Um, there are, you just need to remember there are no such thing as the tarot police. So normally you just would do what your intuition tells you. Um, create your own yes or no, talk to your cards, um, if you continue to use them, they'll get used to you, you get used to them, and you will find they will gladly and easily answer you yes or no questions. Today I'm going to use the Stretch Tarot by Joseph Stretch. I love these cards because they speak to my brand. If you go to my uh, website, I have a very kind of um, 1920s steampunk Victorian vibe going. And these cards speak to that branding perfectly. So that's why I like them. I already like that branding and um, these speak to me. So if there are any rules, that would be the rule that I would say is most important. Find a tarot card um, theme that speaks to you, that you understand the symbolism, that um, you connect with. Uh, for example, um, I don't connect with a lot of the more modern tarot cards. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I just don't connect with them. Um, if it's um, too cutesy, uh, for example, kittens or bears or something, again, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just don't connect with them. You might. Um, so find what connects with you. And that's why I love the stretch tarot so much. Um, because it connects with me and it connects with my brand. Um, I love the graphics on it. He's put little keywords on top, um, which are, are great to um, help you with your reading if you need them. Uh, but they're just really nice cards. They're very sturdy, um, very nice to shuffle. They've got that satiny uh, feel to them so they shuffle really nice they, they never stick together a really nice size not too big for my little hands but not too small you can't see the details so with that being said um, I'll put the link to the stretch tarot down below it's not an affiliate link and this isn't sponsored um, I'm doing this um, because I really like these cards and also as a favor because um, Mr. Stretch did a, a reading for me and it was absolutely amazing and so bang on. And so I want to share these cards with you as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to tell our cards how we recognize a positive or a negative card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to infuse the cards with Major Arcana means yes, Minor Arcana means no. So I've already infused my cards with that, but that's what you would do. You'd say for this reading, Major Arcana is yes, Minor Arcana is no. Then what we want to do is we want to have an odd number of cards um, so that we never have a maybe or a hung answer. I Three is, uh, to me is not enough and seven is too many. So I do five. So for example, um, should I take this job that's just been offered to me? Should I take this job that's just been offered to me? So you put that question in. We've already infused our yes or no. So the cards know we're just doing a yes or no. And when you do it this way, don't look to see what's on the card. It's just, is it major or minor? So should I take this job, split the, I always cut the cards. Again, you do what your intuition tells you to do. If your intuition says randomly choose, split three times, you've got to learn to talk to your cards. Um, and they will listen. So... I've asked, should I take this job? And we're going to count out five. I'm not going to do reversals. I'm not going to read what's on the card. I'm just looking, are they minor or majors? It's so King of Cups, minor. We have the Fool. There's a major. 
Uh, the tower, another major. The star, another major. The two of cups, a minor. So just by going by that one um, that we infused, I would say this is a yes because I have more majors than minors. This is a very strong yes because three showed up in a row. And you have to remember there's only 22 majors and 56 minors. So it's two to one to get a yes. So this is how you can be so sure when you get a yes, it's a strong yes. Um, and you have to get th at least three. So in this particular instance, should I take this job? Very, very strong yes. And again, we aren't reading what's on the cards. So we thank the cards. Thank you. That was a really good reading. Um, now, a second way that we can do a yes or no reading, again, we need to clear out the last reading. Um, a second way we can do is called the nine. And I've done this before and I've tested it and it actually does work. And what you have to do is find the card that resonates with the question that you're asking. So I asked, should I take this job? And so I'm not going to go through all these cards because I know, and if you know a little bit about tarot, the best card that uh, resonates with that is the Eight of Pentacles, because that's the work card, the, the job card. So, and again, you choose the card that resonates with that. Um, maybe it's the Three of Pentacles for you, because that's uh, building foundations, or maybe it's, um, you know, the Two of Wands, whatever. For me, work is the Eight of Pentacles, and this is called the Nine. So should I take this job? Should I take this job? Should I take this job? Now this one, you don't cut, you just leave it. And if the eight of pentacles is in the, is in these nine cards, the answer is yes. So all I'm looking for is the eight of pentacles. We got three of wands, the devil, the chariot, judgment, five of cups, two of swords, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords. So that would be a no. And believe it or not, the it, the card does show up sometimes as a yes. Um, you can also find which card um, resonates with your astrological aspect. Um, for me, I'm the Queen of Wands because I'm a female Aries, a female fire sign. Uh, Aries, so I'm the Queen of Wands. Um, so that would also be if my card shows up in the original in the in the top nine, then I then the answer would be yes. Now there's many ways you can play with this. You can play with this. Um, it what what's today's date? So today I'm recording this on the 18th. So I would ask, should I take this job? So I would count out 18 cards. And if the Eight of Pentacles or uh, whatever card I designated, I wanted as a yes, show up, then the answer would be yes, I would take this job. I mean, you can use this for, should I go on this date and use Two of Cups, for example. And if it shows up at, uh, in, on the first 18, you can use this. I've always just used nine um, and it's always worked for me. But like I said, you can use it. What's today's date? You can use your favorite number. I wouldn't go fewer than nine, though. Um, uh, you can use your favorite number. You can use any kind of number that you want. Just be consistent. So if you're going to use today's date, Again, don't use anything less than nine. So anytime after the 10th, you can use the number of the date. Um, or, or you can use your favorite number, anything over nine. Sometimes I use 14 because that, that tends to be a lucky number for me. Um, but just be consistent with what you're going to do and tell the cards what you're doing before you do it. So if you say, um, I'm asking you a yes or no question. Uh, today is October 18th, so I'm going to use the first 18 cards. Um, I want to know, should I go on a date 
um, with this new guy I met online. And you can show me a yes by the Two of Cups. Or you could use the Knight of Cups or whatever you want to resonate with going on a date. So I would say um, in the first 18 cards, should I go on a date? Two of Cups. First 18 cards, should I go on a date? Two of Cups. Stop when it feels right. Now you count out 18 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So no, I didn't get the two of cups in those 18 cards. So the answer would be no. So those are my two favorite ways to do a quick yes or no. Uh, there are multiple of other ways, but I just wanted to teach you my quick and easy um, way that I do yes or no questions. Uh, again, find your favorite deck, learn uh, to speak each other's language, and you'll be surprised how accurate uh, the yeses and nos are. Again, this was by Stretch Tarot. Uh, thank you for your support. www.stretchtarot.com if you want to order the cards. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you found it uh, fun to watch or very um, educational for you. Thanks so much and take good care.